Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing today? I am here with another another little project to share with you all. Um, I really don't have a name for this. I guess you could call it a little uh, folio. But anyway, <laughs> this is what it looks like on the outside. And you open this up. Whoops, I went around back and that helps to um, keep this area closed here. So this is, this flaps up here, this opens up like this and this. So you have the two little pockets and you have a nice little um, tablet to either tear out or write on whatever you, you know, prefer to do. So, uh, that is what we're going to make today. Just got a little bit of um, ephemera stuck in the pockets here. I did not decorate this yet um, because I just made it and I wanted to share it with you all. So, I am going to set this aside and um, let's get cracking on how to make it. So, I have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I've already cut off the um, branding strip at the top to make sure it was 12 by 12. I am going to go ahead and depending on what you have for um, your decor on your paper, um, let's see, I'm going to turn it this way and cut it at six. So I'm going to cut it right in half and I'm turning it sideways to cut it. If you have non-directional paper, then you have no uh, worries. So I'm going to cut this at six. Keep your um, other cut off. Oh, fly. And we are going to grab our scoreboard. And on the 12 inch side, we are going to score at four and eight. And then we're going to turn so the top is at the left hand side and score at one and a half. Oops, slipped right out of there one and a half. So you have four, eight, and one and a half. Done with that. So we are going to cut off this end right at the line to the first score mark here. So cut right along there right to the score mark, and then I'm gonna cut that right off. One side, I'm going to go to the other side. This will be in the middle, and do the same thing. Cut that right off to the score mark. Okay, so we have our two little pieces here. And then what I do, is fold this, don't put a crease in it, just fold it like this, okay? And take my two sides, make sure they're together as much as possible. And then I'm going to make a little V-shaped cut right like that. That way you will have the same distance and um, the same area cut on both sides. So I need to fold on our folds. So we have this one folded and this one 
folded and then we need to fold our flap. There we go. So this is what you will end up with when you are done. Um, I don't think I was able to round my corners. I tried rounding my flap corners the last time. No, it won't go in. It won't go into my um, corner rounder. So I just take my scissors and do a little clip on the end just to round them a little bit like so. There we go. Now for this, um, let's see, I used one of my um, little cutoffs and I punched two little circles in. Um, I'm not sure what size this is, but um, whatever size little circles you have uh, punch, just, um, you know, use whatever size you want or um, just cut out a round circle from a bottle cap or something. So one of these are going to go at the top here like so. So we need to punch a hole, hole punch. And I'm using my crocodile to punch a hole and I'm using the um, First, I guess I will do it in the middle. What I do when I have these little circles like this to basically get the middle, I put it right in a square on my mat. If you have a mat that has your little um, half inch squares or whatever, I put it right in the middle of the big one like so and that gives me um the four lines with the uh oops, pen with the line going through the middle and i just guesstimate and put my little dot right where i think the middle will be and that pretty much gets me in the middle each time and then I keep both of them together and trying to decide which one I think I'll use the little one this time I think before I used the big one and um, I had a hard time finding a brad that fit in the hole because um, with the big one it sort of the brads that I have slipped right through. So I am going to try the small one this time, the smaller of the two, and see if my brads will fit. Because I had to hunt and hunt for one that wouldn't uh, slip through the hole. Oh, goodness. Okay, here we go, making the hole. If I can see it. This paper is hard to see. There we go, punch the hole there. And then I am going to, on the flap, I'm going to sit where I want my little closure and do another little dot to put my hole there. Mm, here I am. <laughs> so, make my hole on this, make sure I'm on the smaller of the two. Boy, that's hard to see. Okay, hold on, going off camera for just a minute. My paper is dark, so I can't see the little pencil mark. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> okay, so now we need to, we got that one. 
so we can get that together. Now we need to close the left hand side over because the closure is going to be like this. So now we want to we want to put the hole on this one down at the bottom. I mean, that's where I put them, down at the bottom. Um, and that way you can, I mean, you can measure and make sure. I've just been eyeballing the whole process. So I'm gonna put my hole right there. And then I'll probably have to come up under my nose again to see where the hole is. Make sure you use the little one again. Boy, oh boy, that's hard to see. Okay, sorry, got that. Now, I need to get my brads. I thought I had them out, but evidently I don't. But I'm going to see if my smaller brads will work. And if they don't, I'll have to use these humongous ones again. Because these might slip right through. Maybe I'll use a colored one. Mm, I don't know. I probably don't have a color that will... I don't think any of those colors will go with it. Let's use gold this time. If they will work. Okay, so I'm going to take my little circle. Put it with the hole. Oh, I think they're going to work. I should have used the small one the last time. There we go. So yes, that works fine. So I'm going to remember that. Use your small hole punch on your crocodile. If you had these little um, small brads, put that one there. Bumble fingers. There. Works perfect. Just taking care of my brads here. I got way too many out to use. And I can get them off my table. Okay. So we have our little closure. And what I did up here was just put a little bit of washi tape, but I really don't think that you need to if you don't want to. Um, I don't mind the little brad right there because it is gold with the writing. So um, this one will be covered up with a pocket. So this will go like this and this, and we have to put our string which is right here, but I wonder if I want, no, I think I will use, I'll use this one. So, we're going to take our string and put it around our circle. And you can do this on the top of the bottom, and I usually just tie a knot once it's on. Didn't leave me much string. Okay. And then I'm going to go around the back, go around the bottom and go up and around and probably one more time and then one more time <laughs> like so it depends you know it's up to you how many times you want to uh go around 
And I'm just going to cut this one that I tied down. Okay. It's up to you how many times you want to string your little uh, string around. But one probably should go in back so it kind of holds, you know, holds your little folio together. Now, little, little disclaimer about the string, okay? Um, I had a subby comment and um, about my last video and um, evidently, and this is all fine, evidently I was um, wetting the end of the string to put through a hole on my last video and um, she was a little concerned about the uh, unsanitary wetness of the string that I was putting through the hole and I did assure her and I want to assure everybody here, all my subbies, and that um, the hole that I was wetting, uh, I mean the string piece that I was wetting after I went through the circle of course, a big piece of the string at the end was cut off. So no way will you be getting any string that um, has some uh, finger wetting or tongue wetting <laughs> on the end. That was cut away, I can assure you. Um, if any of you have any worries about that, I just wanted to assure you all and that wonderful subby who commented about it. Um, I'm glad that you asked and um, so I could uh, make everybody aware that yes, that string, that part of the string would yes, definitely not be included in the final project. So other than that, let's continue on. We need to make a little booklet for our folio and thank you all so much for your comments I really really appreciate hearing from you all so um, to make the little booklet I just used uh, just little uh, scraps of whatever I have so I have some of these that are left over I have um, a piece of guest check. I have uh, a piece of uh, coffee filter that has been decorated. I will use that and put that right down in between. You can use whatever you uh, want to use for your little booklet. I would say that you should use um, maybe four to six pieces would be fine with um, and I have these little things here this little petty cash thing I always add one of those uh, I think that's a little long so I'm just going to cut a piece off at, or tear a piece I should say right at the end and these are just little tear pieces that someone could use um, either for ephemera pieces or um, some uh, tear offs to use on um, collage or anything like that. Just throw in some cute little pieces of cutoffs. And I have one more um, something here. I thought I did anyway. Maybe I don't. Oh, let's see. Ooh, over here, reaching. Just maybe a piece of coffee dye paper here. I'll use one. Just a, I just want a piece of coffee dye paper added to it. I thought I had a piece already cut down, but I guess I don't. I'm going to cause an avalanche if I don't stop what I'm doing. Okay, well, I like this with a little bit of white showing. So I'm just going to tear off a little piece of this. And add that to my collection. And 
I will put that right under the check, I think. Like so. And I'm going to see if that will um, fit okay, and it does. So then I'm going to take the other cutoff that we have, and I'm just going to fold that right in half. You can use the uh, scoreboard if you need to. So I am just going to put that right on the top here, line it up on one side, get my little tiny attacher, and staple right about in the middle. There we go. And then cut off my little bit that's hanging over. There we go. And that will be glued right there. And I've got some Tombow glue handy. Just spread some on the topper that we just made. And I am going to try to get this right about in the middle. Like so. Cute. Loving that. So then what I'm going to do is grab the piece that we cut off and measure, let's see, I think I measured like two and a half inches for the pockets, so two and a half tall, and then what I did was just put them down here and just pencil mark how wide I wanted them to be. So right about there. That will be how wide. And then I will cut another one the same width. see where I put my pencil mark. Some of these papers are very, very difficult to um, see where your marks are. So now I'm just going to put them both together and make my little thumb notch. that and I want my top at least my top corners I want rounded so let's do that another mask make for you guys if you um, if you have patreons or something like that to or somebody like that or happy mail It'd be a cute little mask make to send in your um, Patreon or Happy Mail. Cute little add-on. I love little things like this. That has uh, multiple purposes. Patreon or your junk journal or just a gift. Oh... Here it is. Sorry for the reach, but I need to get a wipe because I'm so desperately trying to keep my table glue free. Oh, and I should be using, but no, I think I'll use that for mixed media. Not that I ever do mixed media because it scares the, oh, it just scares me to even think about it. But um, 
I know I need to start doing something. I think what I'm going to do is um, have a day where um, I set for maybe fearful things that I don't really like to do or want to do because I'm afraid to do them. So maybe a, and this pocket here is one right over the little brad, which I think I still will put a little piece of um, uh, tape over that. <coughs> Excuse me. Over that one, just because um, whatever you put in the pocket, I want not to have a hindrance. So I will put a little bit of washi tape right over that one just to keep that down before I put on the pocket. And put my pocket right about there. Make sure you don't go over your line here so um, it will continue to fold for you. So there's our two pockets. And um, this one, like I said, this little brad here, you can either put that down, uh, put some washi tape over that, or um, just leave it, which this time I'm just going to leave it. I did put it down before. So there you have our little folio. Whoops, I want to go around at least once. And there you go. Aren't those cute? Whoop, this one's not tied all the way, but oh well. See what happens when you don't have that around? It's uh, around the back. It sort of like comes out like that. So I try to put at least one time around the back. And that helps to keep that closed a little better. So there are our little... Um, uh, notepad, ephemera pad, holder, folio, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, um, that's what they uh, end up to be. And I'm going to try to decorate this one to match my um, snowman journal. So that will be Christmassy. I don't know if I can Christmas this one up. I probably could because it's just roses and gold music. So I don't know why that couldn't be Christmassy. But um, that's why, I, you know, I decided not to do anything with them right now because I want to try to make them so they will go into my Christmas journals somehow. So there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed these little pro this little project and... Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and just wanted to let you know, I so far have not heard from the um, the second drawing for the two winners. If I do not, and I did ask your comments on this, so if I do not hear anything by probably next Saturday, if I don't hear anything by next Saturday, I, I will probably draw again for two more winners. So just a heads up, there may be another drawing if I don't hear anything. So guys, other than that, you have a wonderful blessed weekend. My daughter and her family are coming from West Virginia tomorrow, so I'm so excited. And um, I will see you guys um, the next time. Um, not sure when yet, but I will let you know because I will pop on with a video. So have a blessed weekend, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everybody.